Let's go ahead and show you how to navigate through your document and ensure you know how to zoom and move around in your document as you work. So first of all, we do have a hand tool and you'll see it right over here in the toolbar. Um, the shortcut is an H or you can actually use the space bar to bring it um, so that it basically allows you to move around your document and pan through so that you can actually move what you're working on. And this is going to be very helpful for us as we work in Photoshop. The other cool thing is we do have the option here to zoom in. So you may see also that there is a like a magnifying glass. Um, this zoom tool basically will allow us to zoom you may find using these tools that if you know the shortcut you can work a lot faster so although you can click on this zoom tool I actually use Photoshop so much that I use the shortcut so command plus will basically zoom in and command minus will zoom out and then command zero will basically fit to screen whatever the image is or if you have something transformed like a free transform it will basically show the entire um, part of the transformation that you're working on so again it's command plus or command minus now the other thing I wanted to show you guys is down on the bottom here we have some cool features here that are helpful for you to see first of all this um, percentage is going to show you the amount that you are zoomed in to Photoshop. So watch it change as we zoom in. So we're going to hit Command Plus again and notice that it's starting to zoom in. Okay, and then we do have the ability you could type a numerical value in or if you zoom in that much you may actually end up like 500 percent into a document. So as you work on projects you are likely going to need to know how to zoom in or to zoom out when you are retouching projects as you can see like if we zoom out it's not as easy to see those damages you can see a little bit of them but when we zoom in there's a ton of damages so as we work on this project and when you are um, being graded on your retouching project we will actually zoom into this level and try to make sure that you guys have corrected as much as possible so if you see imperfections you can actually retouch them the other thing I wanted to mention is we have some document information here this is the actual size of your file um, and this is again the Photoshop file so that's a pretty large file this is a pretty high resolution file as well this arrow here will actually give you some different options to be able to view so usually I don't change a lot of these options the one that I do like to look at sometimes especially as we start to work on complex projects like painting in Photoshop the layer count actually will tell you how many layers that you have in Photoshop so as you guys start working this semester it is helpful for you to um, know that these options are there so that you can come in and admire your work so for example if we want to see how big the file is we can just go back to file sizes or if we're working on something more complex the layer count is there and then you see a lot of other options here um, again I don't really need these quite as much but document dimensions might be helpful for you um, so you can actually navigate through these and explore them and decide if you want to preview something specific as you're working so this should help you out as we start to work on this retouching project and any other project this semester it's going to be really crucial to know how to move around your document to zoom in to zoom out so that we can work and do our best work